Hi students, how are you all? Fine. Hope you are all fine. In our last videos, we completed unit one. That is reading a the town mouse and the country mouse. B the town child and the country child, and C the new blue dress. In this video, we shall see unit two reading A. Unit two reading A. C. V. Raman, the pride of India. C. V. Raman, the pride of India. Unit two reading A. Students, all of you, open your textbooks and look at page number twenty-three. Okay, page number twenty-three. Open the face sheet. See, you can see on paper there are pictures of some people. Okay, some people's pictures are there. Do you know who are they? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there are six pictures here. do you know who are these people these are the famous scientists okay these are the famous scientists the names of these people i leave to you you write and send to me okay the names of these six people write and send it to me okay we shall also discuss about these people if you know something about these people okay next everybody most of the people wants to be scientists are different professions scientists are the ones who discover or invent many things for the good uses of the people if they invent or discover anything that is for the betterment of the people okay so in this lesson we are going to learn or we are going to know about one of the indian scientists indian scientist sir c v raman the pride of india how did he bring pride to india how he became so popular what are the contributions he made let us go through the lesson and let us know about this great scientist who this is only the scientist C. V. Raman only is the scientist who studied wholly, I mean, fully in India, all his studies, and became scientist in India and got the Nobel Prize. Okay, this is only the man, or this is only the scientist who studied his all education in India and made research in India and contributed to India and finally. got the nobel prize so turn to page number 24 page number 24 while i read you follow on the busy bau bazar street in calcutta there was an old building it was the headquarters of the indian association for cultivation of science in december on a fine evening in 1927 there was much excitement in one of its laboratories chandrasekhar venkat ramana raman was showing a visitor some of his instruments when a young man k s krishnan rushed in and announced professor k 
Compton has won the Nobel Prize. So this is what happening on the busy Bow Bazaar. There is a Bow Bazaar in Calcutta. So there was an old building. Okay, that evening. It was the headquarters of the Indian Association for Cultivation of Science. So that Bow Bazaar Street, that uh, old building is the headquarters for the Indo Indian Association for Cultivation of Science. Okay. They do many practicals there. In December, on a fine evening in 1927, there was much excitement in one of its laboratories. So, in 1917, sorry, in 1927, in December, on one fine evening, there was much excitement, there was much happiness in one of the laboratories. Chandrasekhar Vekat Raman, Raman was showing he visited some of his instruments. Okay, so in that old building in one of the laboratories, Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman, so called C. V. Raman. Okay, he was showing some of his used uh, instruments to the visitors. So, on and off, I think there was uh, a traffic of visitors to visit the laboratory. That's why this young, uh, this C. V. Raman was showing. Uh, some of his instruments to the visitors. When a young man, K. S. Krishna rushed in, so there was a also a there must he must be a scientist, young man called K. S. Krishna. He rushed in. He came immediately to the C. V. to C. V. Raman and announced said Professor Compton has won the Nobel Prize. So he said Professor Compton has won the Nobel Prize. He announced. Raman was equally delighted. Excellent news, he said, smiling at the visitor. And then he was lost in thought. But look here, Krishnan, he said, turning to the young man, if this Compton effect is true of X-rays, it must be true of light too. So when Raman heard that so Compton, Professor Compton has won the Nobel Prize, he was also very much delighted. Delighted means he was also very much happy. And he said, smiling at the visitor, KS uh, and, okay, uh, ex excellent news he said to the uh, visitor. And he was lost in thought. Lost in thought means, lost in thought means, he was thinking somewhere. Okay, he was thinking something else. Okay, but look here, Krishna. He was uh, then he lost in thoughts. Afterwards, he told the he told Krishna, look here, Krishna. He said, turning to the young man, if the Compton effect as is true of X-rays, okay, if this uh, Compton effect of the X-rays is true, then it must be the it must be true of light too. Okay, are there also? It must be true of light too, he said to the Swami uh, C. V. Raman. A few years earlier, A. H. Compton had shown that the nature of X-rays changes when passed through matter. The change was dependent on the kind of matter. This effect was called Compton effect. Could light also change its nature when passed through a transparent medium? That was the question that Raman asked himself. For five years, he had been doing research in optics, the science of light. No sophisticated equipment was available in his laboratory, but Raman was confident that he could find the answer with some modifications in his equipment. So, a few years later, what he Compton did was A. H. Compton. Okay. So, a few years later, A. H. Compton had shown that the nature of X-rays changed when passed through matter. So, this Compton made clear or showed the people that when the rays of X-rays or when X-rays 
passed through a matter matter okay they change okay this was the uh, discovery he made okay so when the x rays the nature of x rays the nature of x rays when passed through a matter they change the change was dependent on the kind of matter okay this changing is dependent on the uh, matter or through object which it goes this effect was called the compton effect so this was the called as a compton effect so could light also change its nature when passed through a transparent medium so after knowing this when x rays pass through some matter they change the nature is changed but the change is dependent on the kind of it matter its matter likewise could light also change its nature when passed through a transparent medium okay could light also change through when it passed through a transparent medium that was the question that raman asked himself so he was asking could light also change in nature when it passed through a transparent medium okay so that was the question raman was asking himself for 5 years he had been doing research in optics the science of light okay optics means the science of light okay so raman was doing research on optics the science of light for 5 years no sophisticated 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 means advanced okay sophisticated means advanced so no sophisticated equipments was available in his laboratory okay to do research he needed some sophisticated or advanced or uh, new equipment but that was not available in the laboratory of raman but raman was confident that he could find answer with some modifications in his equipment so he had very much zeal he had very much perseverance that's why he was very much confident that he could find or you can discover he could discover something or he could find some answer by by doing some modifications in his equipments which he had five months later on march 16th 1928 raman announced his discovery of new radiation describing the behavior of a beam of light passing through a liquid chemical to an assembly of scientists at bangalore now called bangalore so here students you have to know the meanings of discovery discover invent find here discover means already existed ones already it is existing so they find out invent they find a new thing unique one which is not available find means lost thing lost one for example america was discovered by columbus which means already america is there and this columbus went and discovered which means already it is existing on the earth only we need to find out where it is that is called as discover finding out which is existing next inventing inventing means which is not there on the earth it is found it is found out newly 
ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड इन्वेंट पेंसिलिन वॉज इन्वेंटेड बाय अलेक्सेंडर फ्लेमिंग विच मीन्स पेंसिलिन वॉज देयर वॉज नॉट देयर अंटिल ही इन्वेंटेड दैट्स वाई वी यूज इन्वेंट इन्वेंट मीन्स न्यू थिंग यूनिक थिंग विच वॉज विच इज नॉट देयर ऑन दी अर्थ वी फाइंड आउट नेक्स्ट फाइंड द फाइंड मीन्स वी लॉज समथिंग समवेयर एंड वी सर्च एंड फाइंड आउट दैट इज कॉल्ड फाइंड आउट सो दे आर थ्री आर डिफरेंट इवन दो दे लुक सेम बट दो थ्री आर डिफरेंट डिस्कवर मीन्स विच इज एग्जिस्टिंग ऑलरेडी वी फाइंड आर वी सर्च एंड फाइंड इन्वेंट विच इज नॉट देर ऑन दी अर्थ न्यूली वी फाइंड आउट एंड फाइंड मीन्स विच वी लॉस समवेयर एंड वी ट्राई टू सर्च एंड फाइंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज फाइंड सो द डिफरेंस इज बिटवीन दीज थ्री वर्ड्स सो फोर मंथ्स लेटर ऑन मार्च सिक्सटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एट रामन अनाउंसड हिज डिस्कवरी ऑफ न्यू रेडिएशन सो ऑन नाइनटीन ऑन मार्च सिक्सटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एट Okay, he invented it. He made his discovery: new radiation. Okay, on March sixteen, nineteen twenty-eight, he made it. He announced his discovery: a new radiation. What is the discovery? Describing the behavior of beam of light passing through a liquid chemical to an assembly of scientists. at bangalore now called bangalore so he announced his discovery and he explained to the scientists a group of scientists at bangalore now called as bangalore that be the behavior of beam of light passing through a liquid chemical that's called as new radiation theory so he explained it to the so a group of scientists so students Uh, read this lesson again and again uh, underline the hard words and uh, send it to me watch this video again and again for better understanding okay thank you